pretty soon. It's on the list of things to do. And um, uh, having Joe come and cut the grass today for the first time has really made a big difference in making the place look like it has an actual yard. Uh, like I said on the other side, this is all gravel and this will have potted plants, large potted plants uh, around in this area. And the uh, builder also put in some um, flower beds along the front of the house, large one on this side and a smaller one over here under the kitchen window, which uh, haven't quite decided what's going to go there. Don't know yet. We're going to visit some nurseries soon and see what we can get. And people have offered to give us cuttings and so forth. So we'll probably uh, be starting out that way with some stuff. But we've, um, we were very happy with uh, what we've done and what's been done for us so far. Um, we've made so many friends. We know so many people it's, it's, and they've all been super nice. We've uh, been really, really lucky in, in where we've ended up here and we're very happy about it. So I wanted to give you all a tour of the outside and the inside to let you know because it's been a while since I posted anything but we've been incredibly busy trying to get moved in and unpacked without any shelving there were no light fixtures we had to get our own and of course you know it, uh, finances are a little bit tight we've had to look around for the right things we have found some nice things for reasonable prices and we've gone up to Santiago with a group of friends uh, we rent a van together and um, go shopping at the big stores up there and um, we managed to get things for reasonable prices and we hope to be able to finish off the rest of the things that we really need to have done uh, before October which is the magic date when we need to um, start paying you all back which is going to happen so uh, we're just hoping that um, we can get everything else organized and together before then. I'm sure we will, but it's just a question of taking time. So I apologize for not having posted anything for quite a while. But as you can see, we've been very busy. But hopefully that part is coming to a close. We uh, are hoping to get the electricity hooked up. What you're seeing up there at the end is the little pool house. Uh, from the side that already has a washing machine. We bought a Dominican washing machine uh, Which washes and then you take it out and you put it in the spinner and it spins it and then you hang it out on the line Which I was not looking forward to but it looks like that's what's going to be happening um, But uh, we're not running it because of the lack of electricity at the moment But we have been promised that tomorrow is the day that they are going to in fact put the meter on the pole and we will finally have electricity. Well, it remains to be seen, but we're hoping that that is the case. Um, just for a matter of uh, safety, little safety feature, the builder has put a light up here in the top of the entrance. And if I swing around slowly so it doesn't get too blurry, um, two lights on top of the posts by the gate. Um, and these are dusk to dawn lights that come on automatically. They run off the... Uh, inverter uh, which holds electricity through the four batteries that are out in the pool house everybody has them here because there are constant outages and when you have an inverter system it keeps you going during those hours that you might be without electricity so the fact that we don't have it at the moment uh, it really doesn't make any difference everybody has these systems in their house so fortunately that's been uh, how we've gotten through this period of having no electricity is having the inverter which stores the electricity after we run the batteries for a few hours so anyway that's the story uh, that we have right now hopefully we'll be using the grill soon looking forward to that and uh, looking forward to having some of you come and visit us when we get to that point and have a second bed in the guest room so I'll be signing off now